Hi guys, I'm Paul from Learn Our Way Driver Training and today I'm here to help you people who are just needing a bit more assistance on the how to fill in the D2 and the D4 um, forms to for your application to become a HGV driver or a bus driver as well. So we're using the D2 form. So D2 leaflet, read it thoroughly and your D2 form. You can get all these forms on your main post office or easier is to order online Go to gov.uk and type in application for provision license for HTV driver and it comes up D2 and D4 form. So your D2 form is there, okay. And we're just going to run through how to fill in the form. When you've done your D2 form, we're going to be covering the medical form and again you've got your medical, comes in the same package. And you fill in your D4 medical form. Okay, so first of all, what are you applying for? Um, it's your first provisional entitlement. So what we're going to do is we're going to put an X because it tells you to put an X in the box. So first provisional. X in the box. What category? Well, if you're doing the lorries, you need to put a C. That gives you all categories, but you can add, you may as well put the other ones in too. C1 and C1E. If you're doing a bus category, minibus is just D1. If you're doing a full bus, you could put the D in. So it doesn't matter. If you're doing a D1 and minibus, you can put both categories in if you want. You're not doing section B, I want to renew my license because I'm over 70, unless you are. I, section C, I want to renew or surrender my license when well, you're not renewing or surrendering but if you are you would put an X in one of them the next one is D I want to renew my license for medical reasons again unless you're doing that you would do that again if you want other information please contact us on these items Okay, I want to exchange my license. So again, that's if you want to change your license from the old paper style to a photocard, maybe you'll put an X in that one and you'll send off your paper one license and they will issue back with a, a photocard one. But then you would also need a picture as well to go on here, which if you've got a photocard license already, you don't need to do that. Haven't. Northern Ireland license and my non UK GB, none of these. Which country issued it? That's if you exchange your license. We jump to section I, I serve in the armed forces, full name. Um, and if you're not in the armed forces, then that's different because you're not in the armed forces. We're not dealing with that. Number nine, other. I want to exchange my name and address. So if you're changing your name and address, you put an X in the box. I want to replace my license as it's been lost, stolen, replaced or destroyed. You're not doing any of them. So that section you can leave out. Now we come to your details. So fill in your details. So your license number. So I'm going to start mine off. Spencer. S-P-E-N. And then you just fill the rest of that in there. You, and then you're going to title, I'm a mister, so put an X in the box, which is for you. Your surname, again, you put your surname in, I'm going to post, I'd complete it, Spencer. First name is Paul. Any middle names, put them on as well. Include any middle names. Date of birth, put your date of birth in. Do, do. Month 12, I'm just making this up now. 19, and we'll put 70. Just make up, well, you don't make up, but you put in your birth date. And you couldn't address, put in your your house number. I'll we'll say I'm at nine, 999. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Your house number. I just made that up. Um, of whatever address you put in. <coughs> 10, whatever you're going to be. <coughs> uh, 
and what can we put? Ten. And this is the middle label. We're going to fill in your dress and put Mull, Mull Holland. Don't know. Drive. Right then. Block capital, so as it can be seen, easy. Drive. Okay. Postcode. And um, whatever it is, M um, ten, whatever six or B will put. Okay. Um, your phone number is optional, so you can leave that out if you don't want to. Email address again is optional. You can put it on if you want. Ours is learn our way. At AOL dot com. Previous details of your name and address have changed. Well, mine haven't. So, but if you did change your name or your address, you put in your previous one. Your country you're born in. I was born in England. If you're born in Wales, put Wales or Scotland or Ireland or wherever you're born, put that down. Have you lived in, in another country for 12 months? No, I haven't, so just leave it blank. What date did you live in the UK? So again, leave that blank. Eyesight and hearing. Before you answer the questions, I must, you must read notes in section A. So there is a pamphlet that comes with this. Can you meet the requirements for driving? Yes, I can. Do you need to wear con um, corrective lenses or contacts? I do. So I'm going to put a yes. So if you don't need to wear glasses or that, you put it in that box there. So it's that one or that one. Do you need to wear glasses? Yes. Drive lorries? Well, I do. It's on my license. I've got an 01 on my license. I'm profoundly deaf. No, I'm not. I'll put an X in that box. If yes, well, it's n I'm not. Not. Yeah, now these are about organ donation. So if you want to donate anything, you can you can fill this bit in with X's in, in to which one you need. Your conduct. Have you got any offences against you at the moment? Date of offence, even if these are tachograph related, that you've, you know, you've gone over your tachograph hours, etc. So any offences, record them. What court you would have a letter, what the offence was, and sentence or fine. It might just be a fine, or you might have got a point on your license, etc. So these are related to any criminal convictions or anything, or any driving offences you've had. If you've got points on your license. They will allow sometimes driving lorries, even if you have occasionally up to nine penalty points. If you up to nine is normally okay, they may still accept them, but they will look at the, your case individually either way if you have any points. Okay, so your health. Have you ever had or do you currently suffer from any of the following conditions? Um, if you have answered yes, if you've answered yes, put an X in the box. Probably box. So it's a yes or a no. Diabetes. If you have, put an X in the box. Um, diabetes controlled by tablets. Are you on any tablets? Any epilepsy? Anything you need to put an X in because they will find this out from your doctor either way. It's on your medical records. Any condition affecting either eye, not including colour blindness or short or long sight. So if you're longer short sighted or colour blindness, don't put anything in. Any condition affecting your visual field of activity, again you when you've done your D4, your doctor would have told you whether you've got any issues with your eyesight. Total loss of sight in one eye. If you have, you put an X in. Any form of stroke including um, TIA, fit or blackouts, any type of brain surgery, if you had anything, put it down. Angina, heart conditions, any implant, cardiac pacemaker, any, an implanted cardiac defibrillator, repeated attacks of sudden dia disabling giddiness, repeated attacks of sudden disabling giddiness, any other chronic neuro condition including multiple sclerosis, etc., emotional neuro, and Huntington's disease. So if you have any of these, you put an X in. Um, persistent alcohol misuse or dependence, persistent drug misuse, serious psychiatric illness, mental health, 
Parkinson's disease, narcolepsy, if, excuse me if I said that wrong, obstructive, obstructive sleep apnea syndrome, again your doctor would have told you if you've got any issues on that in the past, any persisting limb problems which needs, which any persisting limb problem which needs driving to be restricted to certain types of vehicles, those with adaptive controls, so for example people use these um, steering knobs on the steering wheel there, that's an adaptation. Severe learning disability, again if you had any of them put on. If you've had any conditions above, you must answer the questions below. Have you told about this condition before? Has this condition got worse? So mine is, have you ever had or do you currently suffer from any of the following conditions? Mine is a no. I've not got any of them. And then you haven't got to put an X in any box and leave them out. Okay, your checklist. Now we're going to do that in the checklist. We're going to come back to that in a minute, but don't forget it. Come back to it. So number four is your proof of identity. Put your passport number down. And again, it's whatever the numbers they give you. I'm just going to put a stack of numbers on. Make sure you write nice and clearly. Usually use black ink as well as what they usually prefer. Um, view, view or prove your immigration status. Well, that doesn't apply to me, so leave it out. Part B, documents are enclosed to prove your identity. but accept photocopies or laminated documents. So which ones are you putting in? Okay. So you'll only fill in this section if you need to apply for a photocard license. If you've already got a photocard license, you don't need to fill this section, just leave that blank. If you haven't got a photocard license, you'll need to get a photocard license. You'll need to get this um, filled in by the a person who's gonna sign. They're gonna put their name, the business or home address, their, their postcode, their profession. So this is not you, this is whoever's signing the back of your photograph. Um, full data number and their license number if they have. We jump to section seven, which is dated and today's date at the moment is the 9th of the 2nd, 2022. And then you put your signature and keep it, it says keep it in the white box. So keep it in the white box um, and your signature I'm going to make mine, and this is not how I would normally sign, but it's, it's not my usual signature, but I'm doing this just to show you. Put, so put your original signature, but keep all in the white area. It must be in the white area. If it's not in the white area, the form's going to come back. You'll have to complete it again. When you finish your form, there's a checklist. So you've enclosed the correct fee. It's actually zero because you're not sending any money when you get a provision license to drive a truck. So there's nothing on there. Proof of ID. Have you done your proof of ID? Yeah, put an X in the box. Yeah, I've got my proof, which is my license number. My photo, a photograph. Have you got a photo? No, not for me. Um, your last license. You need to send your license with this form, all of your license bits. So you've only got a photocard license to send. My test pass certificate, if it applies, that's if you're applying you've already passed the test. We're not, this is our first provisional. And I filled in medical, so you need to make sure you've completed, the, your doctor's completed the D4 form. That's a different video. So, when you have completed your forms, what we do is we fill in, on the back it tells you where to send your form to, so as your license, DVLA, Swansea, SA99, 1BR. It says there, please check the weight. So ask them in the post office to weigh it so you can put on the correct stamp. If you do anything incorrectly, these will get sent back to you and you have to resend them again. Now, when you send off your license, before you send it, take a photograph of your license and you may have noticed there's a couple of digits at the end of your license number. Now, on my one in particular, it says 15. So when my new license comes back, it will probably say 16. Sometimes that's the only way you can tell whether you've got a different license because sometimes they look exactly the same as the previous license. You might have a different symbol, which will say to you you have got new provisional entitlements, but they don't tell you on the bottom or anything 
whether you've got a provisional type motor drive, a lorry, etc. So take a picture, make a note of your license number and the last two digits. Usually if yours says 21 on the end, the next license you get will be issue 22. Thank you from Lenovo Driver Training.